Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I'm so excited to say we're joined by actor Jeremy Shada. Hi, Jeremy. Hello, how are you? Good to be here. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining me. Happy holidays, and let's just dive on in. Jeremy, I wanna congratulate you on your recent project, DreamWorks Dragons, The Nine Realms, which the viewers at home can find on Hulu and Peacock. So how does it feel that it's out? It is, uh, it's kind of surreal. It's, uh, <laughs> anytime you've been working on something for so long, it's, it's such a weird feeling having it finally actually be out there to like go and click on and watch. And especially this project, because we started it during quarantine and everything. And so like my whole experience in working on this show has been completely just like solo in a bubble. Everything's been remote via Zoom, like all the recordings. I've never really worked with any of the other actors on the show. Uh, and so it's so crazy to see this like little thing that just didn't even feel like it was real come together. And I've never even met anybody else. And now you can see the whole show put together, all the other actors and it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So Jeremy, you said that you were, you know, in, <laughs> the times we're living in, you were right. recording this alone, <laughs> right? So yeah. most actors and actresses I've talked to that have done some voiceover work over these times we were living in said that they've been recording in their closet. So could we have found you in the closet recording? It is very possible. Yeah, that was definitely an option and a possibility. I almost used this uh, little home office as my impromptu studio, but the uh, it's a little echoey here at times. So. The biggest problem actually was kind of my dogs and they bark a lot, so they'd be ruining takes just left and right. Uh, so we luckily found a studio like kind of close to my house that was just me in a very small booth and one engineer and that's pretty much it. But I literally, it wasn't until recently that I actually had a session that even another actor was like over Zoom. Like it's all been just me by myself, which I guess kind of works when you're dealing with a show where you're, you know, most of your interactions are with a dragon who doesn't talk. So it just kind of feels like you're talking to a creature that doesn't talk and it kind of worked out. True, exactly. I like that. Now, Jeremy, you actually wrote on your Instagram that you were, you know, How to Train Your Dragon was one of your favorite animated movies growing up. So how cool is this moment as you <laughs> enter the dragon universe? It is pretty epic. I think, you know, whenever you have something that you loved as a kid that always has that kind of special place in your heart, it's, it's really exciting and surreal to get to be a part of that universe, especially in like this capacity where you're not like taking on a role that was like previously someone else's, you're, you're a new character, you're starting your own chapter in it, which is really exciting. And you know, it's just one of those, I think worlds that so many people have come to love. And ultimately in terms of like voice acting and animation, it's definitely like, <laughs> the top tier in terms of the worlds that you want to get to be in. You know, it's it's not it's not one that you expect to be a part of. Um, and so it's just kind of a huge honor and blessing to, I guess, get that story going forward. <clears throat> Absolutely. Now, speaking about your character, Tom, for the viewers at home, what can they be expecting to see from your character? Tom kind of acts before he thinks at times. Uh, <laughs> you know, he just kind of does without realizing, should I do this? Uh, and that kind of creates this very adventurous spirit in him, which I think works when you're talking about someone finding a dragon in, in modern day and, and not just being completely scared and just running away and like never trying to go back to it. You know, he kind of has this um, just adventurous spirit to him. I think it comes from like the fact that he's from like a long line of Vikings. They kind of talk about it in the first episode. That's like where they're descended from. So he kind of has this Viking spirit, I guess, in the uh, modern world, but him and his mom are, are both uh, scientists. So he's very like, interested in the tech of everything. He's very interested in the kind of bio organics of dragons. And he, uh, yeah, he's like a zoologist a little bit, not really. But uh, uh, but yeah, he's, he's, he's all of those things, but he's also just a kid. You know, I think if any kid found a dragon, they're gonna be pretty stoked out of their mind. Uh, and then he realizes that, of course, if you find a dragon in the 21st century, people are probably gonna wanna do things to those creatures. And right, so right. he kind of instantly just becomes this protector. Uh, and he kind of grows this beautiful relationship with uh, with Thunder, which is ends up being his dragon. <clears throat> I think you're living most kids' like dream. I mean, who would <laughs> want to find a cool dragon? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Oh yeah, it was so fun like reading those scripts for the first time and like diving into that and kind of having some of those moments that feel very familiar from the Dragons universe if you've watched the movies. Um, right. But that they kind of all have their twist on it, and I think that's what's fun. Like even 
even Thunder and Tom have this kind of like toothless and pick up moment where they're first meeting, but it's a little bit different because Thunder's like an electric dragon, so it kind of like shocks me a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's fun. It's fun having those very familiar feeling things, but then doing something new with them. And I think it's really exciting. Now, I really like these episodes because 22 minute episodes, I think this is the perfect amount of time for the viewers at home, right? It's not too long, right. not too short. It catches your attention. So I need to know, what do you think this six part series is bringing to TV that is different than what we've seen before? I think one of the really fun things is in the Dragon universe, obviously a lot of the originals were set in Viking times. And so right. it's kind of like, you had the technology and everything they would have had in those days and age. I think the new one is really fun because it is in modern times. And so there is like, you know, a cell phone, he has like a drone, he has all these things. Uh, and the technology mixing with the magic of dragons, I think is really fun. Um, and they even have to find new ways to obviously keep them more of a secret or keep them or, or find new ways to protect them because ultimately, it's kind of hard to keep a dragon a secret in the, uh, <laughs> in the 21st century. I think the other cool thing is in the original movies, we kind of got to see a little bit of the hidden dragon world. Whereas in this show, like we dive into it. We're seeing all these different realms, all these different places that we haven't gotten to see uh, previously. So it's really just like a huge exploration of what we haven't seen uh, in the dragon world. Now, Jeremy, last question here, but we are such big fans of you, your past work. So I need to know what is the next project? What are we gonna be expecting from you in the future? Well, uh, right now I'm pretty deep into, I guess, the music realm, uh, other than Dragons. I released my first debut uh, solo album, uh, Vintage, in October, and for the first time ever, uh, I have a little mini tour coming up in March wow. uh, the album, which is the first time I've ever performed my own music live. Uh, I think we have four shows in Atlanta, Brooklyn, Chicago, and LA. Uh, and so that's coming up in March. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. That it's, a, it's like nervous, but also excited to get out there and, and perform uh, in a capacity that I haven't gotten to before. So pretty excited for that. That is incredible. We have to come to your LA show. Yeah, 100%. Hey, 100% we're there. But Jeremy, thank you so much. I know you have to head out here, but happy holidays. And thank you so much for your time today. Of course, thank you. Thank you so much and congratulations on DreamWorks Dragons, the Nine Realms. And for everyone at home, make sure you guys are catching Jeremy in this series, which you could find out now on Hulu and Peacock TV. Jeremy, thank you so much. Thank you.